In our last episode, we talked about master pages and why they're important. We had master page A, which is going to be for the primary pages of our website, and we created master page B so that we could input a blog into our website so that the experience is that you're able to go into the website, see the blog, and also see other pages within the website. So how do you do that? Well, let's take a look. First of all, I created this simple um, blog inside of WordPress. If you'd like to see how to create blogs, there's an intro to blogs tutorial inside got-clicks.com. You just sign up for it and there's three tutorials out there to teach you how to market your business online. And one of the tutorials is how to create a blog. What I'm going to do is I'm going to simply take this URL that's up here and copy it. And then I'm going to go back into my web plus. Now, we had created all these different pages earlier, so we're looking at the home page right now. What I want to do is I want to go in, I'm going to choose my article template. Now, my article template is pointed to my master page A. How do I change that? Well, first of all, I'm going to go to Site Manager. Site Manager controls what these pages are looking at, and you can see that my Article 1 page is highlighted, and it shows that the Master A is the content. All I need to do is double click on this and I'm going to choose Master B, uncheck Master A, and click OK. I'm also going to check the page of the, the width page, I should say. So it's showing an 800 width. And remember in earlier versions I had changed everything to say Master Page B was going to be a thousand pixels wide. So I'm going to go ahead and change that and then hit close. Now you can see that my page is much wider now. It doesn't have the logo, which is great. And I'm going to go ahead and delete all of this stuff that's here because I'm not going to need it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add my blog in here. Now, Serif Web Plus has a really neat tool that you can add HTML code in here without really needing to be a programmer. I'm a marketer first and a web designer second. So what I'm going to do is just clean up my page and then I go in here and click Insert, and this time I'm going to choose Web Object. And you can choose HTML code if you were going to do an affiliate program, which I'll show you how to do that earlier, or a frame document. And this is how I'm going to use it. It's brilliant. So I hit my frame document, and it's going out to the internet page. And you remember that I copied the GotClicks WordPress. I don't want a border. And I'm just going to hit OK. And then I can click and drag this so that it shows on my web page. Now, you're not going to be able to see this right away until you preview it. To preview pages, you go into File, Preview Site, and you can choose. I have Mozilla Firefox, I have Chrome, I have Internet Explorer. I'm just going to see it in Chrome. You can choose whatever browser you wish. When you install Web Plus, it's going to automatically show this stuff. Now you see that my blog is inserted in here. My navigation is still up here, back to my website. So that's how simple it is to insert a blog into your website with Web Plus.